Test? Hello? Well, my mic just decided to stop working for no reason. <laughs> that was weird. I pressed start streaming and it stopped, uh, stopped showing my mic working. Is my desktop audio going? Yeah, we're good to go. That was the most awkward start ever. For that, I do have to apologize, guys. I don't know what's going on with that one, but um, okay. Good old PCs. What's up, guys? Um, no, it just wasn't working. I had to plug it, plug it back in. I don't know what the heck was going on there. But hey. We're working. At least we started working on the fly. I didn't have to restart or anything. What a pain in the butt. <clears throat> 3 a.m. in Japan. That's right. I, for, I forgot you're all the way over in Japan. Um, oh, excuse me. You're hungry. Okay, I get it. I get it. I am not prepared today at all, guys. I got up and poor, poor old guy had a big old accident again this morning. Where am I going? My food's up there. Um, poor old big guy had a big old accident again this morning. I was just not prepared. That's why I don't have my cam on either, so... Um, I didn't get to shower or anything, so I'll just do it after the stream. But anyways, we need to make some food. Ooh. Okay. Let's go get that done. Oh, we're almost out of corn? Damn. Is there any more fields? We might have to go and hit up some fields here. Why do I keep coming down here? You know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this stupid thing so I don't keep it there. There we go. Second stream in a row. What's up, Chad? Welcome back, dude. Okay. Let me get that going, and we're gonna go over to our campfire. I probably do have food. I probably made some food. I did. See, we have a couple. We have a couple of uh, meats up in there. We are good. Oh my god. So yeah, like I can't even bathe Lex right now, so I have to sponge bathe him. And he's a big dog, and he 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 gets weirded out when you try to sponge bathe him. Um, I would too. I don't know how comfortable I would be with sponge ba or sponge bathing, but. Yeah, that's been a challenge lately. Sometimes I'll get up and he's had an accident. And he's getting there slowly but surely, but as long as he's walking and happy, he's good to go. Hey, TS Forest, what's up, man? Um, how are you doing? Or <laughs> you already answered that before I joined. I usually answer that about um, 42 times a day, to be honest. I am so used to answering it now. Um, I say it when I go to drive through. They're like, hi, how can we help you? And I'm like, I'm doing good. I mean, can I have, like, I literally, that's what I do. So, no. I just it's a reflex now that's what we got going on <laughs> poor baby boy lex yeah he's still happy and stuff though i'll take care of him as long as i need to the one thing i'm really happy about is that i'm able to be at home right now right because if i was out working and had like um gone nine ten hours a day um <clears throat> I, I wouldn't be able to care for him right so um like he's he's still all mentally there and happy and stuff and this is his body is just kind of starting to go now. All right. So it is 1356. What were we up to last time? I think I just came up here and logged out, basically. Yes. Um, let's actually take a quick drive over to that other city and see if I cannot find some farms. Because we need, we need some more food and corn and stuff, and we still got a little bit of time left here today, so... Um, let's get it done. Oh, I came back, um, to grab something to eat because I was a dummy and I didn't eat before I left last time. Do I play other games? Oh yeah, I play a lot of other games, dude. <clears throat> uh, what do I mostly stream on here and stuff is Seven Days to Die. Uh, we have a thing going on in Lords Mobile right now. We got a big, um, guild together stuff and, uh, we're doing that as a community. I'm trying to do more multiplayer stuff. Because, you know, I was thinking the other day, too. I was like, I remembered when, um, like, I, I quit gaming for a long time. And then I kind of picked it up again. And, you know, I had no one to game with. And it kind of sucked, right? Video gaming by yourself sucks. And then this happened. Oh, the blue, right? So I went from, like, not having anyone to game with, with, with having too much to do. Oh, uh, you can't hit these things anymore. It makes me mad. Um, but then I realized... With all the subs I have now, I have a ton of people to game with. The hell am I doing doing single player all the time? So what I'm what I'm trying to concentrate more on now is more multiplayer, uh, more multiplayer oriented stuff. Like I do like my single player. I'm gonna do Castle Miranda on the single player. Um, but like come Alpha 17, I'll probably be more of streaming and making one-off videos. Um, if I don't have my my production PC, we'll see if I get to that goal. Uh, goal but if i do have my production pc i'll probably release one really good video every couple of days and do a um, multiplayer in between um that's what i would really really like to do Ooh, a bear that's a lot of meat 
What do we have for weapons? Weapons. We have a this. There's that car over there. We could use her to give us some stamina. Yeah, let's do it up. Come here, little lady. I'll dunk us, sir. Oh! oh! What? Oh! There we go. Let's get on top of this car. Holy crap! I didn't know bears could hit you up here. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. No! I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, do not do that again. Holy crap. Whoa, he's still coming. Holy crap, I forgot they did the new bear in Alpha Se or Alpha 16. This, this is not the bear we have on console. <laughs> no, I'm still alive. I'm doing it. I'm running. I'm panicking. And I'm drinking a coffee. <sighs> but I'm alive. Is he still on me? Haha, -ha, fuck you, bear. Uh, I'm gonna be a little... What do you want? Damn it. I want that bear. I want that bear so bad right now. I went to get corn and end up taking on a bear. Uh, let's get on top of a rock. Chill bear, have a coffee. Yeah, I'm literally running along drinking a coffee. Um, only a Canadian could drink a coffee and run from a bear at the same time. It's actually in our blood. Okay, well. Let's try this again. <laughs> Can I hit the bear from here, the bow? Oh, crap. See, it's that PS4 aim. I'm aiming really high. Maybe I can't. Can I get him from here? Or a bear. Or, there we go. Uh-oh. I'm trying to take on a bear. The, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I thought he was going to get up there, but he didn't. Oh, that, that, um, <laughs> that animation, though. Looks like we're running again, guys. <laughs> I'll get you, bear. Hey, go take that to the face. Come here. Oh, what's, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he... Aha! That'll help. I can't wait till they fix this AI, though. Seriously. Like, look at that. Look how fucking big this bear is. Holy crap. This is not a Canadian bear. Punk Rock with a $20 US Super Chat. Thank you very much, man. I may as well be playing the song right now. Staying alive. I want this bear. It's on. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I'm slowly getting less and less scared of you. <laughs> oh! Now I'm scared of you! I ran into a car. Oh, I got him! Got him! Got him! I didn't see who followed me, but look, he's doing the little arm wave to that song. Oh. All right. Give me your meat. That was a lot of work. <laughs> we got a lot of meat out of the deal, though. I could have just killed a couple deer. I think it would have been um, a lot easier. Probably a lot more efficient, but... Go big or go home, right? <laughs> it's an American bear. Was it on steroids? Alright. <laughs> Let's hop back on my bike here. And uh, where, 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 were we even, where were we even going? Like, what, what was happening here? Oh, I'm in the city I'm supposed to be going to. I just decided to take on the bear. I'm looking for farms. I'm looking for, more specifically, corn. We could use some more potatoes. Um, I want to avoid farming for as long as possible. Screw farming. Man, bear pig. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, you know what? When I can mod my own uh, textures and stuff in, guys, you bet I will have a man bear pig in my mod. You know I will. Um, there's actually going to be lore and stuff behind my mod. What I have planned for Alpha 17, if I can hit my goal to get that other PC, guys, um, is more of a, um, like, the same style, an informational let's play, but I want to do it role-playing as well, right? 
um, like have a character and have a story and stuff, but I want to do it cinematic too. And um, so Alpha 17, I'm adding in lore to the mod, but I'm going to add it into the mod as the series progresses. So as the series progresses, you guys will find new quests. Um, you'll find... I could not kill that guy, but that would be sick if I could because he has diamonds. See that madman running around over there? You want to get those guys. You have to get them with a sniper rifle pretty much, though. Like, pick them off before they can get away. Um, but yeah, I, I just I, I want to do so much more than just the average, basically, at this point. Um, the other thing I want to do, too, like, after Alpha 17 drops and stuff, what I'm going to do with our community is... Oh, you can't run over the rabbits! Uh, at least you can run over the rabbits. Um, what I want to do with my community is, um, after Alpha 17, after I do my charity drive, is I will just um, casually start GoFundMes for like maybe a thousand, twelve hundred dollars, um, a thousand dollars US. That would make a little more sense. And then once that GoFundMe gets filled up, what we'll do is um, a draw within our community uh, to give someone a PC, like not necessarily like like a stream thing, but just within our community, right? Um, I, we want to get more proactive because we are a pretty generous group of people. We just, I think we need to get a little more organized and focused. So we have some exciting stuff coming up. I'm pretty excited for that. Loving the new Horde Knights and having a more of a challenge on Horde Knight. You, you like that punk rock? Yeah, to me, that's fun, dude. Like the seven days, the six days before is like whatever, right? You kill some zombies, you get some wandering hordes. Those are fun. Um, but it turned into the point. Oh, sweet. I found the farm. It got to the point, but it's not corn, but I'll take it anyways. Oh, it's blueberries. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah, it got, it got to the point. Oh, sweet. I found one. Uh, it got to the point where screamers were more of a challenge than Horde Knight. Uh, so what I did was I rebalanced it a bit and uh, made it so that... Um, screamers are a little nerfed and Horde Knight is harder because for me this the six days before is when you build you get your stuff ready and then Horde Knights when you go all out right you dump all your ammo you have a ton of fun and then you have six days to go at it again um, the game for me became imbalanced when screamers were the real challenge like Horde Knight was just like eh. Um, I can't wait for them to fix the AI too when they fix the AI my um, my, my modded um, zombies will also work a lot better. Because I have to work within the game's framework, right? I only use existing stuff that's already in the game. Um, what I do is I just mash it together creatively and um, change um, like change stuff up on how it works, right? Um, so it stays EAC friendly. Anyone can use it. It won't make your computer lag. It won't lag at all. Um, that's important to me, too. I can't stand, like, I, I love mods, but at the same time, I cannot stand games that run poorly, right? And mods tend to do that to games. They, they end up making them run poorly, so it's a fine balance. Uh, what do you think of them ditching the stamina system and adding physical stats? Um, I'm actually personally excited for that, dude, because of uh, the nature of my mod. Um, what I've done is I've lowered the progression and um, made it more like based on the, the coin system and stuff like that. Um, so if they're adding in more of an RPG type deal for me, that is a very, very good thing because I want I kind of want to turn this into an RPG. And what I want to do is until it's finished, every alpha, the, uh, the game or the, the mod itself will develop, right? Like I'll do a new season. We'll add in new quests. We'll add in new zombies that'll appear. Like what I'll do is I'll release a video, right? And let's say like one video is a week is like a, a week finale video. And then I'll take on a new horde and maybe introduce a new zombie in that horde, right? And then on that day, all of a sudden the mod launcher is updated with the new zombies. I think that would be cool as hell because every week when you play the mod, you'll have new stuff, right? And it's not overwhelming amount of stuff. And if you want, you can actually watch the list play too. I think it'd be I think it would be next level. Um, I just, uh, my mind's getting ahead of myself with the the current let's plays. Like they're not challenging for me to record or edit anymore. I should have bought Seven Days to Die on Steam when it was on sale on Black Friday. The more I um, the more I watch you mod, the more I want to play it now. Oh, dude, man, you should have yeah, you should have bought this game, dude. Uh, no face cam. Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't have time to get prep, man. Um, had a more. I had a morning with my dog again here. Um, 
poor guy he made a mess last night and I had to sponge bath him and then clean up my floor and yeah I just I, I literally haven't been able to shower so whatever I just rather stream than I'll shower after here we go stamina more real okay all right I get what you're saying dude dude I'm punching corn right now and picking it up, okay? You cannot say anything in this game should be real. In my backpack, I am carrying a gun, 222 arrows, 26 rounds, 24 um, golden rod teeth, 330 um, bars of forged iron, 306 uh, forged steel. I'm also carrying five glass jars. You know, I'm carrying around some, uh, some full leather. Like, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, dude, if you want real, play, um, play an actual survival game, right? Not a Vox game. Um, you can't push the developers to do quote unquote real in the world um, where real does not apply. You know what I mean? This is um, it's a makeup world, dude. It doesn't need to be real. Uh, there's a lot of games out there that do that well. That's what I mean. Like that's what I I, I get it, man. But I, I hate it when superior people are like, uh, prum, 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 prum. and I'm like, you can carry around like. 8,000, like 60, wait, wait, what is it? 200 or something thousand cement mix buckets of cement in your pocket. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you want real, you can carry one tool, one weapon, some ammo, and a little bit of food on you. That is real. And those games are fun. Don't get me wrong. I love playing those games. I love Seven Days to Die because it doesn't do what every other survival game does. It sets itself apart in a big way. Um, if you guys are experiencing frame drops, lower your quality a bit. Uh, I'm not seeing any problems on my end. Yeah, and, and you know what, guys? Give it time. Give it time. Uh, eventually, mods will develop to the point where the, someone will make this game into a game like that. Still kind of useless because, like, there's nerd polling. It's just... You can't go and, like, take a pickaxe and punch your way through a building, right? Until they take that out. You can't say it's real. Like, well, you can do it, but I mean, that's not the way you're going to get into a building. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're going to end up going through the front door or finding a different way in. Um, which is why I like survival games that have static worlds, because you can't cut your way through a building, right? You actually have to legitimately try to get into it. You haven't traveled with a pack rat? I carry more than that all the time. That is awesome. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not like trying to make fun of you or anything, dude. I'm just trying to point out that this probably isn't the game you should be arguing that with. And I, I know it upsets like all those people who use those arguments, but it is like pretty much straight out truth. If you wanna, if you wanna experience a good zombie survival game, play a zombie survival game. Um, this is a sur zombie survival crafting Vox uh, multiplayer game, right? Well, it's not really multiplayer yet. They really need to fix that. I forget how they exactly describe it, but it is not described as a, a real um, experience survival game. Um, I would actually like to play like a full out survival game that like gives you like, you know, logical stuff where you, you actually have to go and like, you know, like the the real survival. Like you have to go and, you, you know, you have to w actually whittle yourself a stick. You have to put time into doing it. You know what I mean? That would actually be kind of cool because that would be cool to stream. I could talk to you guys at the same time while like whittling a weapon. You know what I mean? That would actually be cool. It wouldn't go over very well because everyone would be like, it's too slow. Um, but that would be fun, right? And and where it's like insta death. If you die, you die. That would be freaking kick ass. Uh, where the hell did the compound bow come from? Uh, the compound bow came in alpha 15. Uh, I'm not sure I'm that big of a fan of it, dude. It almost just feels like a reskin of the bow. That, that's that's all it feels like to me, man. The bow is less chunkier, and you can see more with it, right? Um, so I, I'm not sure if I'm completely sold on the idea yet. Like, it, it does do more damage at high level. Like, it, it, it looks okay, but, like, look how much of a view it takes up, right? Um... Oh, I don't have a bow on me. If I had a bow, we can compare, but it's it's not even that much better at, like, these levels than a bow is.
And zombies should be able to have weapons? Dude, if you've seen my mod, man. Man, I have freaking leprechauns that show up on Horde Knight and spew rockets out of their crotch at you, dude. Uh, my, my Horde Knights are fun. Um, that's what I like. To, for me, seven days to die is a tower defense, right? That's 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 what I really brought me to it. Tower defense, the physics, the building, um, all the other stuff. Um, when is power coming to Xbox and PS4? Connor, um, I have no idea, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Um, I, I, I don't have any idea. The way, the, the, uh, how it is right now, you don't want it, guys. Trust me. The one thing I do like about console is I pick it up and that game is going to work. Right? Seven days of die breaks all the time on PC. They do updates. They introduce new stuff and break it. Uh, you have to start a new game save or your game gets wonky. Um, it's a constant thing. You guys, you guys have it good. Just sit back, let uh, PC work the bugs out, and then get it once it's uh, once it's running. And honestly, power takes up a lot of resources, especially on the PC, uh, PC end. And I don't know how much more the console is gonna hand handle out of a Vox game, because like seven days to die is like Minecraft times three on your console, right? Um, it just it has so much more to it than Minecraft does. And it's not as efficient, I'll admit that. Um, so it's, it's a little rougher. Uh, Minecraft runs like crap on the console. Once you got like big builds and stuff on Minecraft, the, the map like drops to like 20 frames per second constantly. Um, I have a map and I can prove it, what Minecraft runs like. And uh, Seven Days to Die takes up more than Minecraft, so. Uh, honestly, guys, like, I think the best thing to do is just wait for the next gen consoles to come out. I, I really do. A lot of people can't play Alpha 16 as well. Um, it, it pushed their potatoes out of range. Um, I know a lot of people played Alpha 16 with me no longer uh, can no longer play. Or Alpha 15 with me can no longer play Alpha 16. Um, it was that much of a push with the content that it's that it draped the system down. Now, I'm sure it can get better. Okay. I'm sure it can get better eventually, but it's not that great now. Let's put those rounds away. We're just going to use our arrows up. Um, do we have... We should actually get making some bullets here, too. Uh, let's make ourselves... We have a sniper rifle, and we have a hunting rifle. So let's actually start making ourselves some uh, 7.62 millimeters. Yeah, Minecraft slows down real bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. Realistically, guys, like, you know what I mean? Um, the console is made for games like Call of Duty. Um... Vox games are heavy processor and memory, and that is where they sacrifice on the console to get you a little bit of better graphics. Console does what it does really well. It's just not made to do everything, right? Um, so hopefully, eventually down the road, consoles um, pick up on the, the also the, the other hardware as well and give us a little bit better hardware. Uh, when is power coming to PS4? Asking as a PC player. Thanks, <laughs> Jason. That's funny. Thanks for the super chat, man. Very much appreciated. That's... <laughs> I love Minecraft, but... Yeah, I, you know what? I... Uh, why can I not... Do I not have it learned? Oh, I don't have it learned. I don't have the perk. Okay, let's go get the perk. Wow. Okay, the perk is... What the hell is it? Oh, it's under firearms. I'm an idiot. Okay. I need gunsmithing three. Oh, okay. Big deal. There we go. Bam. Now I can make some rounds. Perfect. 252. That'll do. And I'm out. Okay, so we're going to have to look for lead while I'm out in the boat as well. Could be. Have you played Ark Survival before? I have, dude. Um, I, 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 like I said, I do like survival games and a good challenge. Uh, the reason I don't like Ark is because I'm not a fan of um, hard being random um, event. Because random event to me is not hard. It's irritating. Um, like uh, how a raptor will go and literally eat up every small animal in sight by itself. That, that literally turned, like, I, I wanted that game to be realistic dinosaurs, right? And now it's, like, friggin' rocket packs, and I, I don't know, dude. 
Um, if they brought in like a real survival game where the dinosaurs acted like dinosaurs and made me sweat, like if I saw a raptor, I knew I was fucked, right? And it wouldn't attack me. It would sit there and stare at me, right? You know what I mean? Like that's the experience I wanted. So Ark just kind of went off in a completely different direction with their uh, with their shit, which is okay. It's just not my thing. Um, I don't I don't like random events. They make me rage quit. You know, um, like like um, if I'm playing um, like Skylines and the disaster comes through, that's that's a little different, right? But hey, ne Neebs Gaming, how you doing, buddy? What's up? Holy crap! <laughs> how you doing? You caught me without my camera today too. We're doing a um, we're, I'm, a casual stream here today. It's good to see you here. We're just talking about you. Oh wow. How are you, man? Mm. I'm just enjoying my morning coffee and catching up with the community. Uh, last time I played seven days, I died in 30 days. That's actually a pretty good time, man. That's actually a pretty good span. I see you guys are highly enjoying the seven days to die. Okay, so it's nighttime. Let's uh, let's actually head off to our forage here. <laughs> hey, cat, what's up? Loving seven days of diet. It is so much fun, man. Um, I was explaining to people earlier um, the reason I love this game is not because it's uh, graphics. <laughs> it's fantastic graphics. It's the um, it's the experience it offers that no other game does. Yeah, Scan. Um, Scan, if you haven't actually checked out Neebs Gaming, uh, you need to go and check out their content. They are a funny group of guys. They do some excellent editing as well. Yeah, no problem, Neebs, man. You know what, dude? Like, I look up to you guys. You guys are doing what I want to do. You know what I mean? It's always good to have... Uh... Hey, what's up, Elmer? Oh, Scan. Mm. Yes, I'm sorry. Your uh, your sarcasm was lost on me. Uh, you got me that time. Uh, what I'm actually doing right now, um, Neebs, is I'm actually playing my own uh, my own mod, Settlers mod. So it's, it's a little bit adult, but I've been able to mess with the games in ways that are absolutely glorious. It's so much fun. Hey, what's up, Shelby? Okay. So, we have to discuss what we want to do in this house, guys. Um, this room is fantastically painted, and I honestly think the rest of the house needs to look like this. I think, this, I think we need to bring back the 90s. I think it needs to happen. This is a place I don't want people to hang out, and I think this is a good way to discourage them. Uh, we should actually... How much paint do we have right now? Oh, we have crap loads of paint. Let's grab that up. Grab ourselves a paintbrush and go and mess up this house. That's a good nighttime activity. Uh, can we use the stream portion in our podcast? Yeah, go right ahead, Neeps. More than welcome, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, lightsaber, what's up, man? Good to see ya. Uh, lightsaber, have, are you actually from uh, my Seven Days community, or are you from Lords Mobile? We're like we got communities all over the place now. Yeah, I definitely will, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in. It was good seeing you. If you guys haven't, once again, you guys got to go and check out Neeb's game, and their art stuff is great. Um, I'm not an ARC fan, but I love watching them play the game. Um, their Seven Days of Die stuff is just fantastic. Um, doing a great job on editing it as well. I made your boyfriend a sandwich. Oh, I need a girlfriend now. I love sandwiches. Why did I come back here? To put stone in here that I didn't have. <laughs> and this is how Skippy waste gas. All right, let's go back to my house and just paint it and stay focused. Hmm. 
<laughs> watching me get ticked. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It actually happens in my community quite a bit. Um, as you guys know, I'm trying to do more of a multiplayer reach out like through these uh, next several months before I try to get the extra hardware I need to do what I want to do. Um... <laughs> Man, I love... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, dude. We, we, we did hit that, uh, hide that comment, man. That was a little... You know what I mean? Say, say that in our Discord and stuff, dude. But you'll get tagged on YouTube for saying that kind of stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, the humans are obviously superior over the zombies. There's just less of us. Demanding boyfriend. Yeah, and you know what? When I, I almost said I want a sandwich maker when Jolene said that. But Jolene is so much more than a sandwich maker. Um, she also leaves behind messes because as you guys remember we got Jolene caught up in here and then when I came back she was gone and she left a pile of garbage just sitting there very very disrespectful he was lucky I was making myself a grilled cheese <laughs> so he got a sandwich and you got a grilled cheese wow he, need, he needs to return a sandwich maker. Okay, we're going to go with uh, with some purple here. Let's pick that one. His, oh, no, he doesn't need to get a new sandwich maker. He just got to get he just got to get this one repaired. It's it's obviously not working correctly. Or he's not feeding it enough power. He needs to feed it more power. That's it. Maybe do some maintenance, oil some parts. I'm glad Jolene can take it. <laughs> So many puns, so little time. Jolene isn't just a sandwich maker. She puts ice in your drink, too. <laughs> could you imagine a machine that could make you a sandwich and also serve you ice at the same time? Hmm, I'm feeling an invention coming on. Maybe um, a jump starter here. And then we'll go on the... Um... Oh, is, there, is that channel still around that sells, like, stuff randomly on it? Like, the Home uh, shop oh, home Shopping Network, is that it? Is that is that still a thing? You know, it'd be awesome as a community to, to, is to actually invent something really, really, really stupid and just pool our money together and then go on that show and try to sell something really stupid. That would be so much fun. <laughs> okay, let's go with uh, yellow for the roof. We definitely have to do yellow for the roof. Uh, what is my Twitch? Uh, my Twitch? It's Skippy0330. I do stream on Twitch. Um, Twitch is more more of like my more casual streams. Usually I have a webcam and stuff on right now, but it was a rough morning, right? Um, where is the obos? <laughs> Shopping network is still a thing. Great idea. I'm in. Like, I wonder how much it costs for like a time slot on the shopping network. You know what? If, if it's like, if it's like a couple thousand dollars... Like, why not go do it just for fun, right? Just invent something that's just absolutely useless, doesn't work. And I could literally go up there straight face, guys. I and really I... love your... No, Billy, don't touch that. Oh, I really love your show. Well, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Uh-oh, I think people discovered that my Twitch uh, sounds come up. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crazy color, American house. Oh, dude, no, I'm I'm purposely making this house look ugly, man. This is our goal. We're bringing back the 90s. We're doing it up. <clears throat> the whole house should be rain <gasps> rainbows. Yes. And, oh, and you know how many viewers are going to come in and be like, what is your house, a gay house? Ho, 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 ho. No. No, it's not. Okay, where are our primary colors? What color is the rainbow anyways? You know what? I can look that up right now as we speak. Um, rainbow. Here we go. Okay, so <laughs> rainbow colors. I'm just looking at pictures of rainbows right now, guys. That's um, That's today for us. Red, orange, yellow, green, 
blue, indigo, uh, violet. So we can almost do all of them. Indigo. Is that even the color? Did I make that up? <laughs> oh, we do have those two right here. We have like the, the pink, violet, and then purple for the um, whatever I means. We have blue. We have green. We have yellow. We have orange. And we have red. Oh, we can do it. Oh, we should paint the roof. I wonder if we can get the roof done. Whoops. Let's uh, let's try to get back up there. Okay, here we go. I'm purposely trying to make my house the most offensive looking it could possibly be. Um, not because I think rainbows are offensive, but I think it would prove a point. Why is this missing? How did that even happen? Did I randomly shoot my roof on Horde Knight? Oh, that's probably what it was. Me, like, randomly shooting my roof on Horde Knight. Or maybe it's actually like that? No, it's probably just me randomly shooting my roof at some points in time. No, it can't be because there's, there's um, over damage. Yeah, that's actually got to be like that. Okay, let's start from here. We're going to do it in stripes. So I need to start out with uh, some red here. Let's get some red going on. Let's make a statement. There we go. So we got red. We have to go to orange now. Here we are. Orange. Uh, which one's going to be brighter? I think this one looks better, though. It's more solid. Like, this one's kind of peeled, and this one's solid. Let's go with orange. No, the roofs always have a few broken bits. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that makes more sense. Okay, uh, yeller. Here we go. Hey, Todd, what's up? Hey, Elmer. <laughs> you guys like it? Think it's nice? We're going to go with green now. Let's get some green going on. Let's, let, let's, let's see how many... Um, let's, let's see how many people can be immature in our stream when they see this. Uh, blue. Here we go. Let's go with drywall blue. It's brighter. Definitely got to go with the brighter stuff. Perfect. This is a much nicer room. Uh, and then we got, got purple and then pink. Oh, we did it, guess. We did it. It's beautiful, and it's ours. <laughs> when I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. Yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it actually fits one of my notifications. Okay. There we are. Now it's just easy from here. I don't have to go and uh, re-pick the textures now. I can just pick them from, from where we sit. Okay, we're going to pick that one. Yes, this is nice. I like this. This is how every house should be all the time. Like 100%. Uh, we got to do this one here too. Nice. Oh, I should just keep the colors going down the other side. There we go. We'll make the whole roof match all pretty pretty. Nice. Where in the world did you get the paint from? What do you mean? Uh, these paints I got from looting as well as my um, uh, my home wrecker. Don't the roller do strips? Doesn't? Why did I say don't? Doesn't the roller do strips? Uh, nope. Can't miss a spot. This is a wonderful waste of paint, by the way. Paint's not very cheap in Settler's Mod, but you know what? This is worth it. It's worth it. Do it for the people. <laughs> Keep going up and down every single side. Like, how much paint do I even have left? Okay, we still have a good amount. Still have a good amount. At least um, these basic colors are actually pretty cheap. At least that's a thing. There we go. See, this chimney was lucky. It ended up being orange, and it's not a tall pink chimney. Because I'm pretty sure a few jokes may arise out of that as well. Okay. Let's go like that. Bam! Perfect. Okay, let's go with red. 
What's sponsoring? Power to the rainbow. Yes, always. It's going to be a nice house. It might take actually a lot of paint to do this, but... Get the whole house eventually just painted incredibly gaudy. Um, my sister is one of those people in the 90s that, like, was purple and pink and just... Oh, it was brutal. It was brutal. It's nice to bring it back, though. Memories. <laughs> Jason, that's funny, dude. Yeah, you, you do have a valid point there, man. A very, very valid point. There you go. It's like a rainbow fell on my roof. Oh, man. I hate running out of gas. Um, Jason says, for those who want realism, my mini bike just ran out of gas. Had to walk two kilometers looking for a car to wrench down. Found a passing gas. Still had to walk back. That's realism for you. Yes. See, there you go. There's some realism. Always make sure you have gas before you leave. Which reminds me, I'm going to have to get gas next time I, I, I drive my car. Just add a unicorn and life is complete. Oh, you know what? I have actually, I, I do have a unicorn planned for my mod. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be like a badass unicorn. It's not going to be like a happy unicorn. What's going to happen? Like once I can get into stuff like outside of XML modding, I can make my own textures, models, and meshes and that kind of stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce my own stuff because I, I, I want it to match the art style of the game. You know what I mean? I want to match the game closely because if you see like the other mods where they use um, assets um, that they bought from the, the the store, they just everything looks out of place, right? Like the artwork does not match at all. Um, for my mod, I want that to match. So you, you probably won't be seeing it for a while because I got to learn, but that's important to me. Um, but I do plan on adding a badass unicorn and every time um, you, you'll be able to find an object or an item It'll probably be from a quest you'll, you'll be able to find a quest and then go down the quest line do the quest And then you'll get the item at the end of the quest line and what you do is you use the item and you can summon yourself a unicorn and Take it on as a group or like as a single person um, and yeah, it'll probably most likely be a single person thing. Um, take it on as a single person, and then it'll drop some epic um, epic loot for you, right? Uh, that only it drops. Um, there's so much I want to do with this mod. Because uh, I, I do like the, the survival aspect. I want to mash the survival and um, RPG aspect together. Power to the rainbow. Exactly. I think it's a beautiful thing, guys. So, what else do you think we should do with this house? It's looking good so far. I like it. I mean, it looks a lot more realistic now. Pink. There we go. Alright. Well, it's morning time, guys. We're done painting for now. Let's go. Um, let's go get our coveralls off and head off into the wild blue yonder, and go and get myself some stuff. There we go. Am I still broadcasting? Oh yeah, we're fine. My internet's not wonky anymore. I'm I'm worried about that. I'm paranoid, but it looks like they may have fixed the issue. It's been a couple days since I've um, hit any weird internet issues again, so that's a good thing. Okay, so I have my steel pickaxe, everything else. We're good to go. Let's um, head on out. Yeah, let's go out and uh, get some more resources. We need some more stone. We need some more re um, everything, actually. Okay. Mini bike. Where'd I park you? Bam. Grab a wrench. For what? I need no wrench. We're going out and hitting boulders. We're getting resources. We need plenty. Um, I gotta. Uh, we're almost finished our horde base. I think that horde base I have um, will last us a little while, um, long enough to, um, you know, uh, make a permanent one. Because uh, from there, I can actually go and make um, a lot bigger of one. I want to make another outdoor one again. Uh, but instead of making like a middle this time, I'm gonna just make it a bunch of rows, um, just so people aren't like you're copying. Er. I'd be like, no, it's, it's in the row. So we need ores. We need uh, specifically lead as well. So I should go. 
actually to this biome looking for boulders. I'm going to place a flag up there just so I remember. Uh, because there's lead in that biome all over the place. Hey, Fraz, how you doing? <laughs> I know, right, Jolene? I didn't even have time. Thank God, though. I think I would have totally choked earlier if I was. I would have not been prepared for that. Okay. Uh, let's go north here. Yeah, that was actually really cool. Nobody's talking about that. If you guys are just joining, uh, Neebs Gaming actually stopped by earlier to say hi. Which is pretty dang cool. Um, good group of guys. Good group of guys. Um, if you guys haven't watched Neebs Gaming stuff, go and watch it. Um, honestly, like, everyone's been like, who do you watch? And ever since I've discovered them, that's who I watch. I literally really don't watch anything else on YouTube. I, I don't. Um, their style has actually inspired me to step up my game a bit. Because I looked at them and I'm like, damn. I want to be doing that. And then they stopped by today randomly. It was pretty damn cool. I'm going to go watch The Walking Dead. Okay, see you later, Ian. Yes, I watched it actually last night. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, the way they ended it, though. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's all I have to say. That's not a spoiler. That's just me saying damn. Because you know it's The Walking Dead. A lot of people have been like, damn, damn, damn a lot about that show. Because they always leave it on hangers. I love their Grand Theft Auto stuff, too. I actually haven't had a chance to watch their Grand Theft Auto stuff. Um, I've been trying to catch up on their arc. Definitely um, watch their seven days when they come out. Um, and you know what's funny, too? Is they're just dudes playing a game. You know what I mean? Like, they're not trying to act superior about anything. Um, they're just dudes playing a game. And I love watching that. Honestly, um, when I go watch streams sometimes, guys, um, I will actually purposely log out and just watch new players play Seven Days to Die. It is so much fun experiencing Seven Days to Die through a new player's eyes. It, it really is. After you played this game for so long, you miss it. I missed the first days playing this game when I was, like, hiding out in the little cabin house because I had no idea what was going on. I just knew there were zombies everywhere. Um, that's how I like it, too. I don't really um, like to look stuff up too much before I experience it. Um, I rather experience it as a as as, as a virgin, and then once I um, become defirginized, then I like to go back and like learn everything I possibly can about it. Um, but like watching other people do it is so much fun because it's funny because I look back and I'm like, I did that. <laughs> Yeah, they have great chemistry. They they do. They do. They do. They really do. Um, I was talking to Adahop actually a little bit. He's the one that does the editing for the Seven Days to Die videos. Uh, pretty cool guy. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Hit up some rocks. Hey, what's up, Samantha? How you doing? No spoilers. Yeah, guys, don't no spoilers and like don't don't be doing stuff like that. That's not cool. That's not cool. Some people actually like, you know, that's one of the only shows they look forward to all week. I never thought that that stuff was funny. Hey, what's up, Muhammad? Hey, uh, bootlegger? Is that supposed to be? Is that bootlegger? In another language, and I just pronounced it prop improperly, improperly. Oh, so today, guys, at 4 p.m., I actually do have a PS4 video coming out, and then after the stream here today, I'm gonna have to go and make myself another PS4 video uh, for Wednesday. Uh, so what we're doing with the PS4, we're doing on and off multiplayer, right? Um, I still do need to release some videos and I want to release some videos. I just um, I needed a break. That, that's all and I wanted to catch up with my community You guys are really like the ones that actually like talk in discord and play games and stuff with me You're more important than um, a handful of quick views I got I got to remember that because even in the, in the down times You are the guy you are the ones that end up keeping me up. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You guys are like you guys are like the fluffers of my channel. Thanks for being my fluffers, guys. You guys are the best fluffers ever. 
Um, I only watch Walking Dead after the season's over. I like to binge watch. Yeah, yeah, me too, dude. But um, Walking Dead's only really only one of the shows I, I do that with. Um, watch it weekly. Um, uh, oh, that and Last Man on Earth. I actually have a Last Man on Earth episode waiting for me after this stream. I haven't had like my coffee or relaxed time this morning. Um, so after the stream, I'm gonna watch myself some Last Man on Earth. Awesome show. Love the dude. Um, Will Forte. In my opinion, fucking hilarious. I, 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 it's just, he, he does a type of like show where it doesn't need a laugh track, right? Like there's no laugh track in it. That's why a lot of people are like, I don't get it. And it's like, cause there's no laugh track. Um, but it's a lot more wittier situational humor than anything else. Um, it might seem a little crude on the surface, but you gotta understand what they're trying to get to, right? Um, <laughs> but anyways, in season two, I wanna get to this as well. I'm, I've been growing a beard and growing my hair out. Um, my beard is in such an awkward stage right now. The hairs keep getting caught each other in each other in my mustache, and it feels really weird. It feels like my mustache is fighting with itself. It is such an awkward feeling, and that's today's mustache update. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm growing it out, and if you've ever seen season two, what he did in season two is he ended up shaving off half of his um, hair at the top of his eye. Like, literally, half of his head he ended up shaving, and he left the other half, and it was, like, obnoxiously long, right? Um, so what we're going to do for a charity thing come Alpha 17 is I'm going to do another long stream, and we're going to try to get to um, 6K. At 5K, what I'm going to do... Um, is because uh, we reached 4K last time, so I'm upping the ante on this one because this one's this one's um, you know gonna affect my personal life quite a bit. I need to head up this way. Here we go. Uh, so what we're gonna do is if we hit 5K this time for the local soup kitchen, um, I will rock the half beard and half hair for a whole month. If we hit 6K, I will um, I will also do the eyebrow as well because the eyebrow is dedication. The eyebrow takes a while to grow back and stuff. I've done some reading on that one. Um, so if we hit 6K, I will do the eyebrow as well. So we'll go the full... Um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we'll, oh, the full forte. That's what we'll call it. We're aiming for the full forte. Um, I'll go the full forte if we get 6K. And on top of that, I'll throw in um, $1,000 of my own money on top of that. So if we hit 6K, we've instantly hit 7K. And you have a skippy with only half a head, half a... Not even a head. I guess it's head. Of hair. Now let's hope I don't have to go in and get a job within an amount of time something ever happens. <laughs> Damn and stuff with that going on too. I have to. <laughs> uh, that's weird, guys. It must be YouTube because it's definitely not on my end. Um, I'm not, I haven't dropped a single frame since I started streaming. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is our luck, right? It's either YouTube or it's my internet. One or the other. Yeah, it's got to be YouTube. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, that sucks. I hate it when that happens, too, because viewers just leave your stream, right? Um, Twitch used to be really bad for that, dropping streams, especially on console. Um, I used to, like, drop my audience all the time and have to spend, like, two hours working it back again. Um, it's, it's really, really frustrating, but whatever, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. As I found out, my community is actually the ones that have been keeping me afloat, not the views. So, we're going with that. Okay. Where is the rock? Ah, here we go. The rocks are over here. Boulders. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, guys. Like I said, it hasn't. Like I haven't dropped a frame on my side, so it's got to be YouTube today. Oh well, at least I'm not doing two streams today. I'm only doing one. <laughs> that worked out in my favor. In 26 years, I have shaved my beard and stash twice. Man, um, I have never grown a mustache or a beard. This is my first experience with it. It grows really fast. Like, I've had no problem doing it. Um, it's, it's, it's gone past the itchy, itchy stage, but it's in the stage now where it's long enough and it's getting caught with each other. 
And like it literally feels like my beard is having a tug of war with itself. It's really an odd feeling. Um, I just I can't wait till it gets like a normalized stage where it's not doing weird crap on me. Or is that just not a thing? Do beards just always like take on their own personalities and do their own things? Like when you sleep, does your beard get up and make a sandwich and have a beer? Cause that would be awesome. Oh my god, I have this huge pimple on my butt. I named it Jolene. Aww. That's cute. Sawcast on. Yes, I need to get on my server as well and do a base tour of that 4.0 thing. You know what? Actually, Cassie, if you're on today, um, we should do a base tour here uh, on 4.0. Because, like I said, I want to do more multiplayer stuff, right? Like, um, you know, maybe do more different videos and just let's plays. Maybe, like, one-off cool things. Like, the base tours are fun. Um, but ever since that last uh, mandatory wipe that we had to do, um, and people just haven't been that inspired, you know what I mean? They kind of just said, well, screw this game. See ya. Because uh, it sucks having your stuff wiped. And, like, we had... We, there's nothing we could do to get around it. We, we had to wipe it. We tried and retried and retried. When I start to eat my beard, it gets it gets the chop. The chop. When I start to eat my beard, it gets the chop. Um, so I, I don't know, guys. What kind of what kind of mustache do you think I should do? Um, if I'm gonna rock the mustache, what kind of mustache? Cause like we're we're open here. We're open for whatever my face. Turns into mold my face, people. <laughs> mold me. Hey, gamer grandpa, what's up? No, but you can save part of your sandwich of beer in your <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, don't use a comb on it. Let the neck uh, three to four inches. Beautiful. Full. Um, yeah, you know what? I should probably just go to YouTube, or YouTube and watch like a channel like that, Larry. Um, I have been just letting it grow out. I've been using beard oil um, just to get rid of the, the itch and stuff. And it seemed to work really well. So I, I got through most of the itchy stage now. Uh, but it's in that weird stage where it's like longer and getting caught in itself. Like every time I smile, I can feel a couple hairs like tug at each other. Is that a thing? Like, does that actually end up happening down the road with, with a mustache? You feel tugs every time. Is that why people with mustaches don't like to smile? By the way, I made that up too, guys. That's not an actual thing. Does one strand coming... Oh, like the... Uh... What, what do you call them? Um, monks. Like, like a monk one? We can do um, a monk one. Beard oil? Yeah, beard oil is a thing, dude. Beard glitter. <laughs> you know what? That would be some fun little fundraisers as well. Like little mini, mi mini fundraisers. Um, what I'm also thinking about doing too, now that we're so far into my stream and um, probably got a lot of the click-throughs out of the way, um, like I said, lately, guys, I've been beginning to concentrate back on multiplayer, right? Um, getting, uh, it's getting together with my community and stuff again here. So, what I think we're going to do is, after Alpha 17 drops and I do my charity stream and crap and everything else is done, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start, like, on my Discord only. Um, I'm not going to do it in stream. I'm not going to do it anywhere else. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a GoFundMe. And we'll go for like, um, I'll look up at the average price of a decent computer that'll that'll um, do the job, right? And uh, what I'll do is I'll start up a GoFundMe. And, um, you know, for maybe $1,000 US. And then when that GoFundMe uh, fills up, um, what we will do is go and um, do a draw within our own community uh, for someone to get a PC, right? Because essentially, like, some people can afford to, like, drop 50 bucks, but they can't afford to buy themselves a whole PC. Um, eventually, we'll end up with a whole bunch of people converting from console to PC or a whole bunch of people that can't even play PC because they don't have one to play PC. 
here we go here's my bike i think that would be an awesome thing to do in the community it doesn't um you know it's no skin off my back it's no skin off anyone else's back and it's a way to support each other i think that would be awesome to do and the thing the sick thing about that is too is it doesn't matter where you live um we could buy it online and have it shipped to your um have it shipped to your address you know not a big deal right we can figure it out and, wh and what I would do, of course, is I would post the, um, what we would do is, um, like, post, for I forget what you call that site. It's a site I've used to do giveaways on. But anyways, um, I'll post it on Discord and then use your Discord name to, to enter the draw. Um, that way, we, you know, we don't get, a, like, a bunch of randoms and stuff entering. And I won't even name the draw. I'll just call it draw, right, and pin it to Discord. And then everyone will know. That way we can get, um, get rid of the randoms. Because, uh, like, I, I don't like doing giveaways like that, right? Because you get a lot of people who just um, go in for the giveaway and then they never come back. Um, it's actually, it's just, it's not conducive on a small channel. Because the payout is not, or the, the reward is not worth the payout. Um, so I think it's a little better to do it that way. So that, you know, our, our local community actually ends up getting something out of it. TWG's whole guild ported away, did they? Really? That might be a good thing for us, so Chris. Um, thanks for letting me know, dude. Um, that's actually probably a really, really, really good thing for us. Uh, maybe they got in a fight with us, MSD, I don't even know. See, I told you, dude. I told you that whole thing down there, that, that whole thing is going to collapse, man. I called it. I just said, be patient. Be patient. Um, you guys, oh yeah, you probably don't know what we're talking about. Lord's Mobile. We have like a group of like 150 people on there. And we're creating like super guilds uh, for funsies. And, um, you know, it's been kind of fun. Diplomacy, you know, a little bit of strategy. Uh, a lot to do in it. Uh, just a warning. Uh, there is pay to play in it. If you want to be extremely competitive, you do have to pay to play. Um, if you want to just come play and have some fun and survive as a guild, then you can. You don't have to spend a single dollar. There is never any pressure to do that. Uh, they did sponsor one stream on Twitch with me, but anything past there has not. They have not paid me a single dollar for anything else. Um, I, I didn't take the money until I knew I'd enjoy the game, to be honest. And by the way, guys, by the way, you want to know something funny? Um, Yogg's cast, right? Um, they were approached by IGG as well, and Yogg's cast went and did it, and they ended up with a 25-person guild. Our community went and did it, and we ended up with a 150-person guild. And Yogg's cast has like 8 million subs. So that just goes to show you the, the, the power of our, um, like, our gaming community, right? Um, we're very large, we're very active. Um, I'm very involved in that part of the community as well makes a difference if our our small ass community can pull together 150 people in that game and the augs cast after doing like several sponsored ones can only pull 25 people in i think that says something for us yeah scan i know I, I eventually we'll probably pick up a few pay to play players man I, i'm sure we will right because some people can afford to do that and some people like to do that and there's nothing wrong with that um, the one thing I do like about Lords Mobile, though, is if um, if you do get picked on by a pay-to-play, they can't really zero you. You just your troops go to the infirmary, or your troops are hidden, and you leave no resources for them to get, or and you don't have a wall, right? If they can't take out your might with a wall, then they can't get anything. They can't get might, and they can't get your troops. So it's it's not even that big of a deal, right? And that's what we've been doing. If we get attacked, I just tell people to tuck their armies and um, pull resources out if they have too much. Uh, what, what a few people did was dump their gold on me. We had, um, we had a rogue guild member from an alliance attack us. Um, I, I was able to solve it pretty quickly, though. But anyways, I'm talking about that stuff while we're, while we're doing this. <laughs> hey, Dave, what's up, man? Good to see you again. How you doing? You're late to the party. Dave, dude, you missed it. Neebs Gaming stopped in, man. They stopped in to say hello. It was pretty friggin' epic, man. I almost choked, dude. I literally like almost choked. I had I had no idea. Like I, it's a good thing I didn't 
do anything earlier previous to the stream or I would have absolutely choked. Yeah, it was pretty sick. It was it was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Why is Sup Dude held for review? That's funny. Yeah, man, I'm pretty pumped about that, Dave. I'm pretty pumped about that, man. They also um they came into the stream and they said they wanted to use um use um portion of the stream in their podcast. So I'm gonna be on um a, a Neeb's podcast. Isn't that pretty sick? I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to look up that podcast like ASAP. I wonder when they're gonna do it. Yeah, man, it's pretty. Uh, baby smile. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's 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 good signs, right? And like I said, that. Where is it? Oh, hey, girlfriend. Oh, it's it's Jolene. What's up, Jolene? Come here. Uh, hit you in the biddies. There we go. Now we have a girlfriend. If you guys are playing Settlers Mon, um, both the red zombie, the uh, uh, the the horny zombie. This is the the horny zombie. I'm gonna rename her too. I think next time around to something a little classier. Um, and, um, I'm going to rename her into the girlfriend zombie and the party girl is going to turn into the woo girl because she brings a party on, um, as a, as a screamer. Right. Um, but if you, if you want one of these to follow you around and do your bidding, um, all you have to do is get them down to the point. They make that cough exploding noise and then they'll just, they'll follow you around. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to leave you behind though. I, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're going to do without me, but. You'll, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. Sorry. There's not enough room on this bike for the both of us. And you're slow as hell. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Run. Run. I know you can... Oh, get on. Get on. Get on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'll stop. I'm serious. No. Oh! Okay. Okay. No, I'm serious this time. Get on. Oh, 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 oh. No. My dad used to do this shit to me. It used to piss me right off. I used to get so mad at that. So mad at that. I'm gonna go make sandwiches for myself then. <laughs> uh, and this is why I'm single, guys. They see now all she's doing is complaining. She's like, "You made me run. You made me run. I don't like that." <laughs> Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we're a very open community. We joke about a lot. Um, we're very adult. Um, they're very, very, how have you say that? Welcome to the channel, dude. Um, you know what I mean? Like, some people might get offended by what we do, but it's all in good fun. We have nothing more than respect for, um, the opposite sexes and everything else. But there is nothing wrong with joking about stereotypes. In my opinion. And that's how our community rolls, right? If you come in and be disrespectful, we will kick your ass. If you want to come in and do some witty jokes, we're down. We're down. She's still following us. I love it. Yeah, we can take a joke. That's funny. Oh, you know what? I think I know what that guy meant earlier by what's all this sponsor stuff. Um, if you guys go to gaming.youtube.com and watch me on there, um, I don't know what the sponsor button is exactly available on. I should probably learn that. Um, but you can sponsor the channel for um, $4.99 a month in most countries. And it's just like Twitch. You end up getting emotes. Do we have any sponsors in the stream right now? Can you show them the emotes that we have? Um, we actually only need uh, four more sponsors to get another emote. Uh, so we'll have four emotes at that point. It's a brand new thing. They just started. Um, they just brought it out of beta and to streams for um, gaming for everybody. Um, eventually, that sponsor button is actually going to roll over to main channels, and it's going to save a lot of content creators from having the gun held to their head from advertisers. And that will be nice because screw advertisers holding the gun to our heads. Let's start doing community funded. Um, channels, right? You know what I mean? Because communities are powerful. Advertisers can go shove it. Um, what I'm gonna do once that sponsor button rolls over to my main channel, I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna sit down and 
and plan out like all my stuff, everything I need for savings and everything, and um, get it down to about a general number. And once I do reach that number on my channel, I will actually go ad free, period. Just bring everything ad free because screw the advertisers, screw them. Jason Wells, there we go. Thank you very much. Oh, it's Cassie too. There we go. We have three emotes so far. Um, we have my main icon, and then we have Baby Bean, and then we have Pimp Squirrel. Oh yeah, guys, no pressure either as well. All right, like you know, if you don't have money, don't spend it. That's just that's straight up how it is. Don't have money, don't spend it. Um, I feel really bad if I know someone that, that doesn't have a lot of money and they, and they give me some. Honestly, it makes me feel bad, guys, so please don't. Um, if you do have money, though, feel free. You know what I mean? But honestly. Okay, let's go over our right tail. And bang. Ethan! Yes, I agree, dude. Finger pointing and excellent. That's YouTube. <laughs> Wait, you guys don't like baby bean? You guys, you guys don't like my little buddy? I love baby bean. You guys should be nice to baby bean. I'm cold now. I'm hypothermia because I didn't wasn't paying attention. Um, Freaking notifications! I gotta turn these YouTube desktop notifications off. They end up climbing up my screen and I can't see my uh, my buffs. <laughs> I fixed it though. It only takes a second to fix, but whatever. Oh, I'm hungry too because I've been freezing. Uh oh. Oh, did I bring food with me? I'm not even paying attention. Aha! Meat stew! Thank God Past Skippy thought about Future Skippy because Past Skippy knows Future Skippy better than Future Skippy knew Past Skippy. Whew. He's a good guy. Oh, are we basket? Are we still having people asking um, what nuts are for? <laughs> I love that question. Um, I'm not sure I should discuss that with you. Maybe you should go ask your parents about uh, something called the birds and the bees. Um, it's not really my place to be filling that position. Okay. I only just found your channel. I was watching the day one tutorial, and I seen you streaming. I'm new to seven days to die. Awesome, dude. The more new people, uh, the better, in my opinion. Um, honestly, man, I, I I wish I was new to this game. I, I do. Being new to this game was so much fun. I still love the crap of this game. Don't get me wrong. I've gotten to the point where I'm, like, making my own mod and stuff. Um, but I still miss those, like, day one feelings. When you're like hiding from zombies and you're scared. Now I'm just like, now I like whip out a, um, a torch and I like go to town. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'll take you on with my torch. That's funny though, I do have the Lord's Mobile thing still on. Um, I don't mean to be spamming you guys with that. I do apologize. Um, if, if you do want to join though, uh, make sure that you go and look up my first Lord's Mobile stream. It should be in my most recent. I gotta make another playlist for it. Um, yeah, go and look that one up and there's actually a, a code and stuff in it uh, for you to use. I've been playing it for about eight days. First three days I was freaked out by zombies. <laughs> That's funny, man. Okay, let's get back this way. It does rock. That was a long travel, by the way. Pack. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. I'm getting a little bit better with this thing. I'm starting to learn how to use the uh, the compound bow a little more. Um, I just think it's a little bulky, in my opinion. It's cool. I'll just throw arrows at them. I'll throw them really, really hard. Um, how much is it? Is it the sponsor? Well, it depends on your country too, right? Um, on your um, currency. Uh, but if you click on the sponsor button, it should show you exactly what it is. That's why I never gamble on anything but poker. <laughs> 
Man, I should actually I should try poker. I can keep a pretty damn good poker face. Um I just never I never got into cards. I think that's what the problem was. I just I'm too I was too active as a child and as a, a teenager and then as an adult and still now. So it's always something I want to learn on the side. I never did. No, if I ever like hit a, like a, a that would be my make a wish if I ever got one, right? Be like, I'd like to learn how to play poker. It wouldn't be a hard one, but it'd be a good one. Now I'm thirsty. He just cannot keep my character satisfied. The Murphy is needy. Love Texas hold. Hold him up. All right. Because as far as I know from what I've seen of poker, because I've watched it and stuff, right? I don't know really what's really going on. Um, but they're 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 trying to out bluff. You're you're pretty much trying to out bluff the other player, right? You know, I, I, like I've seen some people like lose on like or win on really crappy hands. I've seen that happen before. Um, Samantha loves nuts. Nice. Well, uh, the more you talk in the chat, the more nuts you'll get. There we go. Got some lead going on too, so we can make some more bullet tips. I try to play with friends at home whenever I can. Um, <laughs> reminds me of like kids in the hall fingering friends. And it's not fingering, it's a, a finger ring. It's a ring that you put on your finger and you give to your friends. So you you can give yourself a fingering, you can give your friends a fingering. What is my favorite gun? I don't really have a favorite gun, man. Uh, I'm not much of a gun nut myself, to be honest. Um, I do like the bow. The bow is one of my favorite things. Um, I like melee, melee is fun. Oh, look at this little smorgasbord over here. Let's hit this up. Um, it's all in the way of your tell. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should give poker a try sometime. Because I can literally just keep a straight face. I just... Like, I can honestly look at something. And, and I, I don't know how to explain it probably. But I can look at something... And care everything about it, but at the same time, not care about it. it it's so I can like not like display any emotion. Um, it's a skill, really. I came in the combo uh, combo with fingering. Hey, cupcake! You should look it up. You can get yourself a finger ring. Um, they come in packages of two. That way, if you, um, you know, want to share a fingering, you can give your friend a fingering. You can give anybody a fingering. Okay. Let's go up this way. It's so old, too, that, um, the, the whitest kids you know. Oh, my God. So old. I was like, how do we switch to fingerings? Just make your sandwich, Jolene. Yeah, t tell you what. Send your boyfriend out for a fingering and make a sandwich. And then he can come back and give you a fingering because they come in packages of two. And then you guys can, like, use your fingerings together. Spread the fingerings. Maybe uh, go and get some more. They do come in packages of ten for those people who just, you know, are, are really generous. Figurines. Yeah, we see radio gets it. Fingering. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Bunch of perverts. <laughs> Yay! Fingerings! <laughs> Scanius one or Scanius. You could also go give him a fingering. The coming packages of ten. Um, that's for the adventurous. It's under the adventurous on the website. You got like the um, the general fingering, and then you got like the uh, the mass fingering, and then and then you got like extreme fingering, 
Um, but you have to contact them for that one because um, of the large amount of fingerings that they'd have to put out. Uh, you're gonna have to give them some time. They don't. They don't have a lot of fingerings in stock all the time. Like, yeah, you know, they're they're very small, but they're easy to keep. Oh, look at that! Look at our beautiful roof over here. Let's go check out our roof in the daytime, peoples. Yeah, cupcake. I don't know what you're talking about. Separate the words, guys. What is wrong with you? Okay, let's go over this way. Let's look at our roof. Oh, it's so pretty. We can't really see it too well from here. Let's go see our roof from the top of the skyscraper. Oh, that's going to take forever. We could pull our way up it, though. That'll still take forever. I could just cheat and go into debug mode and we can take a quick look at it. Which I'm about to do. <laughs> here we go. I want to get a screenshot of it. Oh my god, I just pulled a jewel. They switched the buttons for uh, debug mode and drop weapon. That's how uh, Joel switched them around. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. We're going to go up here and we're actually going to get a screenshot of this. A uh, big trick, guys. If you guys want to take a sick screenshot. Okay, we're going to go into creative mode as well just to show you guys this. Um, if you want to take a sick screenshot, um, go to creative mode. Make sure you click on dev blocks. Okay, and then search up hand. And you'll get a bunch of these things that have no icons. Go and put that hand in your item slot, and it will actually make the hand disappear from your screen. And then you can go ahead and get a um, nice clean screenshot without a hand floating around in it. There you go, just like that. That's how I get my screenshots, actually. Um, so F7 will remove your HUD as well. That's how I'm doing that. Um, but do not throw your hand out. Go back and dump it into the community, or you'll get a whole bunch of red errors coming down your screen. So don't throw the hand out. Just use it to make your hand disappear and then put it back into the, the creative menu. But yeah, there you go. That's how I take my screenshots. It's pretty, though, isn't it? I like it. There we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, you love that roof? It's pretty, isn't it? Okay, I gotta get all the fly here. There we go. I'm doing it wrong. All right, let's go over the forge and uh, start dumping some stone in that bugger. Oh, the roof like rainbows, and then we could paint clouds. Ooh, blue and white. Ooh, that would be really nice, Jolene. We could do it up. We can call it um, Skippy's Nursery for nobody. Okay, so I'm only going to throw 3,000 each slot. That should actually give us a butt ton of cement. You know what? I think we actually have too much cement. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just spread this this stuff out here a little bit. There we go. It reminds me of Care Bears. <laughs> um, Ethan, dude, we're down for good jokes, man. Um, but as I say in my videos, dude, keep it classy, right? Make it witty. Make it witty, man. There we go. Um, implied stuff is is always the funniest. We like implied stuff here. The more you imply it without saying it, the better. Uh, okay, so we got a whole ton of stuffage. I'm going to... Jeez, we have a lot of iron, too. Oh, you know what we need? I need to start making some steel. Okay. There's not much room in here. What am I lacking on here? Oh, I'm probably getting hot. Whoops, let's, let's, get, rid of, um, let's get rid of my leather duster. Perfect. Okay. I have my cement. I have my iron. And I have my small stones. Oh, and look, we have enough for the ore master, too. That's sick. We can do some ore master. Uh, and we needed steel. That's what I needed to do. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to head back home. Um, we're going to get some, some cement going. And we are also going to do something else. Use um, use all the, the, the machines. Yes, we're going to use our coins up. That's what I'm trying to say. Holy crap. Um, so what I've done is a little bit slower progression like you don't get as much XP from gathering You don't get as much XP from killing zombies like normally um, And instead what you do is you collect coins uh, Reward coins. Oops. Those are Duke's Casino coins. Those are not supposed to be in there. They're supposed to be in here. Perfect. Okay And after a while you can get enough like the home record coin if you look it says use 125 coins held in your hand upgrade a home record master All right, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that Home record coins you can get from destroying blocks. Uh, they drop on certain zombies on Horde Knight. Um, some zombies will drop them as a bonus too. 
but mostly you get these from destroying blocks, right? Home wrecker. Um, that's a part of it. So as you destroy doors and go through them and stuff, you get these coins. And then once you have 125 and you've made a home wrecker, if you look it up in the menu here, this is your home wrecker. Build this with 40 iron. Guys, I love descriptions. Okay. If there's anything in the, um, the recipe menus that you don't understand and needs a description, let me know and I'll add one to it because descriptions to me are a big thing. Um, but yeah, build this with 40 iron, place on the ground, upgrade holding 125 home record coins in your hand. Um, loot will break back down the home wrecker. Leftover loot will drop as a bag. So if you um, if you don't forget to take the loot out, you'll actually get a little bit of a loot, uh, loot bag that drops. But this is how it works. So you look at it with the coins in your hand and use your upgrade button, the, the right mouse button, right? So once you got that upgraded, you can search it. And bam, look at that. It gave me a couple thousand paint as a bonus. And then it breaks back down into the normal home wrecker. And then you can do it again once you have 125 more coins. Um, so that helps with like the XP um, gathering and stuff like that. So we got the ore, um, the ore master here. Uh, oh, shoot, I'm going to get I'm gonna stuff like your solar arrays and crap like that is your home wrecker master jackpots. Um, ore master, stone master, and uh, treasure master and zombie master all have jackpots of silver and diamond, which in turn you need to build your blade traps, right? your blade traps your um turrets but your blade traps and your turrets do more damage and they last longer so instead of making a thousand blade traps you have to save up and make uh make a few but they'll last you longer and on top of that they're cheaper to um to repair and screw bases with a thousand friggin traps around them like i just oh that annoys me and it's my mod so i can i can do it there we go so i just upgraded the ore master these ones here only take 75 coins um what these do is they give you um bonus of materials right so now that we have that done did i make did i make concrete i did okay what are we lacking on oh we have some more supplies okay anyways let's do this Okay, so uh, now that I upgraded it, I can take my uh, pickaxe to it and give it a shot, right? And there we go. It gave me like 150 of each resource because this is the ore master. You get the ore master coins from ore nodes and only with mining tools. You won't get them with a stone axe. Um, so it's, it's a good thing to come every once in a while. You can upgrade these things. And what these do is you don't get like just a piece of diamond. You actually get the diamond ore. So you can take the diamond ore, put it down on the ground and mine it, and usually get like a good chunk of diamonds out of it. It's just a matter of hitting that jackpot. That's all, right? Um, so I added a little bit of this because like this is something good to do on night because there's no um, there's no gr or, um, grinding like axes and crap anymore uh, to grind up your levels, right? It's uh, nights are a little more boring. So this is something good to do on night. You can come and spend all your coins. Um, get a whole bunch of bonus supplies. Like, we have a good amount of supplies in there now that I need to get rid of. There we go. Bang. And we have Stone Master coins. Let's do that one. Let's do that one up here. Stone Master. Nice. We have a couple of those. Let's upgrade these bastards. Here we go. And Bango. See, this. what this one does is this one acts like stone. It gives you a whole bonus of stone and a bonus of iron, right? So there we go. We got like 500 and 100 um, iron. So that's a nice little bonus on the stone. Ah, just like that. So once you get your mining skills and everything up to, you will gather more coins as you gather items. Um, the, the diamond tipped auger is actually the best way to get coinage. Uh, okay, so we have 120 treasure coins. Oh, we actually have enough of these to cash in too. Okay, well, let's do each and every one. So uh, this is our treasure master. Um, use the treasure coins on it. Wait, 125? Oh, shoot, I picked it up. Um, these you can pick up and put back down as well. There we go. I, I need 125. We don't have enough. We're like five short. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so we're going to pick up the zombie master. Or do the zombie master. So you get zombie master coins from killing zombies. They drop on zombies. Uh, slowly, albeit. But um, the loot you get is pretty epic. You guys know the hidden stashes you get in the... Um, uh, at the pawn shops, um, it's the same loop bin. So basically, it's a hidden stash. Every once in a while, you're able to get yourself a hidden stash. So you upgrade it, and then it becomes a loot container, and you can grab yourself some pretty sick loot. Look at that. We got a compound bow. We got a bonus of home wrecker coins. Nice. We can do another home wrecker. And we got some military leg armor out of the deal. So there you go. There you go. Perfect. So that's exactly like a secret stash. Uh, I'm going to put these away, and we're going to actually go ahead and use our home wrecker again. Do we have enough? Okay. 
Here we go. We don't have enough to do two, but there we go. Oh, look at that. I leveled up from doing that, guys. Um, doing these, using these machines gives you bonus XP as well. Like, even just upgrading the home record um, leveled me. That's sick, right? Oh, and look. See, this time, instead of just paint, we got paint and some lights. So it gives you home building stuff, basically. That's what the home record does. Awesome. So it's kind of balanced for, like, um, people who go out and, uh, like this one, the, the zombie, right? People that go out and do looting, they'll bring back home record coins and zombie master coins, mostly. And people that like to gather will end up getting stone master and ore master. And I'm sorry, looters will get, like, um, these two here. Um, people who build will also get home record coins as you, like, you know, modify your builds and stuff. So this one here is, like, a dual one where, like, both play styles will enjoy it. Uh, the zombie master and the treasure master are for people who enjoy looting because you get these out of junk containers Search your garbage bags guys search all of that stuff. They give you the treasure coins um, And then the zombie masters are a little obvious and then you got the stone master and the ore master for people who like to do the grinding Right and then this one to balance them off um, a little bit of both um, Because these guys are going to be doing a lot of this so this building stuff helps them get building where these guys aren't going to do a lot of this, so this stuff helps them get the stuff they won't be out going out and getting, like the electrical parts for the lights. So a little bit of trade-off both ways, right? Um, so eventually down the road, I might add a couple more, because there's a wood one, but I want to keep it balanced. Like either add another one that's a shared, or add another one on the side of, or to both of these, right? Um, so as in the mod expands, we'll see a lot more of this stuff. Is my stream going offline on you guys again? Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to end the stream here. Um, it has been only an hour and a half, but it is acting up. Um, I hope the recording is okay, but um, YouTube streaming is having a really hard time today. So I'm going to end it here, concentrate on um, getting some videos done here today. Uh, I will be on Lord's Mobile with you guys later. Um, I know I need to organize a... Um, uh, an officer team on there. I need to go to get an officer team together. Um, reduce frustration a bit. Um, I had to put my foot down a little bit this morning. I hate doing that, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Awesome. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go take a look at that. Uh, I want to thank you guys once again for coming out. It's been amazing. Uh, if YouTube's not acting up tomorrow, we'll try to do a little bit of a longer stream. I'll start streaming at 12. And then we'll go, um, we'll go until probably like three, an hour before my PS, or an hour before my PS4 stream, right? We'll, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes, day by day, guys. Anyways, I'll see you in Discord, um, everywhere else. You guys are awesome. I will see you later. If you guys haven't yet, go and check out Neebs Gaming, guys. Um, great group of guys. They took their time out to come say hi to an extremely small channel today. And honestly, I'm flabbergasted, like beyond belief. So amazing time, amazing day. Um, thanks if uh, you know you're still watching the stream you guys rock anyways peace out guys enjoy the end stream um, it's a nice little song it's really really sad at the beginning and then it gets really really happy at the end I'm just kidding just listen to it peace out